fans pouring into Boston today for Game 4, hoping for another win like last night's game. And hey, that's exactly what they got. Many fans tell us they bought tickets for tonight's game after watching <laughs> last night's exciting 13-inning win, saying they just couldn't miss this game for the world. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts caught up with fans before the game, and she joins us now live from outside Fenway Park with more on the energy that's spilling out of the stadium. Amanda? Yeah, Kim Shannon, electric is really the word of the night here in Boston. Between the Boston Marathon earlier today and now this Red Sox win, it's an electric night here in Boston. Boston's amazing. We're the best. San Diego champions. Red Sox fans as far as the eye can see for game four. Sox are winning game four. Is that right, Sox boys? Four. Sox Sox four. Four. These friends from Central Mass got tickets for Monday's game after seeing how well the Sox were playing. I saw them win that game on Friday night and I said, hey, boys, got a we go to the game on Monday? And they said, absolutely. And here we are. It's been Sox and four ever since. Unbelievable. Unreal. Unbelievable. Vibe. It's electric. That's a vibe. For Izzy and Megan of Boston, the game was their final stop of the day. They started at the Boston Marathon. We saw the finishers. It was really fun. And then we went to a few of these places around here. And we're just getting our way through Fenway. Two of the city's most beloved events on the same day, adding a little extra excitement to the atmosphere. Really excited for it. Hopefully, they get the win and a hot dog. We got that street meat. <laughs> Let's go. Some fans are here for the second night, still recuperating from all those innings. You can't describe it. 13 innings, your butt hurts from sitting in the seat and standing and getting up. You got bruised legs like crazy. Just, it was just electric. Now, those fans weren't only hoping for a win, but also for a quicker game compared to last night's game. And luckily, both those wishes came true tonight. Live in Boston, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.